Karina, I get the sense that there's something you're not telling me right now. Oh, Linda, hello. It's nice to hear from you, too. You think I'm hiding something from you? Hmm. Well, nothing really comes to mind, but... Don't you lie to me, young lady. I am your mother-in-law. Honestly, I cannot believe you. You do know that you do not even earn that much money, right? And yet, you're living such a lavish lifestyle. It's really quite shameful. I gotta be honest with you. Excuse me? You think that I'm spending too much money on myself? I'm trying to think about any big purchases I might have made on myself recently. But nothing's really coming to mind. I guess if I really had to stretch out the meaning of what living lavishly means, then yesterday at lunch with the usual meal I pick up for myself at the store had run out. I picked out one next to it that cost about a dollar more, but is that it? Stop playing dumb. You know very well that's not what I'm talking about. I'm afraid that I really do not know what you're talking about. Would you mind telling me what exactly you're so concerned about? I see. So that's the way you're going to be, is it? You're just going to continue to act so smug and arrogant about all your spending without telling me? your mother-in-law about it? Honestly, do you think this is any way to treat someone? You should be ashamed of yourself. I seriously do not have a single clue or idea about what you could possibly be talking about right now. I'm being completely honest when I say I have no idea what you could be referring to. Whatever. I've had enough of this little charade. Let's just cut straight to the point. Because I know all about what you've been hiding. Despite your futile efforts to try and keep it away from me. The only reason I'm even bothering to bring it up with you is to see if you would admit it or continue with your lying. Just as I suspected... You're still keeping up that act without even a hint of remorse. Are you reading a word I'm saying to you right now? I literally have no clue what you're talking about, and I'm not hiding anything. Wow. You know I was not expecting that much from you. And yet you still managed to find a way to let me down. Well, fine. If that's the way you're going to be... Then I understand. I'll be leaving now. Linda? Hello? I promise that I'm telling you the truth. Hi, Mom. It's been a little while since we last talked. How have you been? How are things going for you? Ah, Cole. What a pleasant surprise. Yes, your dad and I have been doing just fine as always. No big changes here. I assume that you and Julie are still getting along with each other, yeah? Yeah, we are. No problems that I can really think of. Thank you for asking. And the honeymoon is soon, right? Soon you two are gonna be busy. Not only a husband and wife. But with work, too. Well, yeah. You're right about that. The two of us are probably going to enter a quite a busy period in our lives from now on. But thankfully, we'll also have each other to rely on. But I do really want to thank you and say that I'm really grateful that I know how to take care of a house and do the housework properly thanks to what you taught me. 
And you and dad both just really instilled in me that the key to maintaining a good home when everyone is busy with a job is to split the housework amongst ourselves. I just want you to know that I really took that to heart and I'm grateful for all that I've learned from you two. Oh, that is just such a sweet thing to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad that you found it helpful in your adult life. And one more thing. I actually had something I wanted to ask you, if that's alright. Well, of course. What is it? Well, you remember that I had mentioned earlier to you that Julie and I had planned to have a holiday honeymoon, right? Of course. Julie told me on the phone earlier. We'll definitely miss having you here. But a honeymoon is definitely more important. Well, the two of us were talking and think that we might cut things a little short and spend the holidays with you and dad before we go. Oh, really? That would be so wonderful. And when were you thinking of coming? Well, we were actually hoping it would be alright if the two of us stayed with you from the 24th until New Year's. And then afterwards, we would go on our trip. Yes, of course that would be fine. We'd love to have you here. But are you sure that Julie's okay with spending the holidays with us? And not on the honeymoon or with her family? Well, the thing about her parents is that every year around this time, they go on a fancy trip. So they wouldn't even be home then. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. In that case, yes, you two are both more than welcome to come spend the holidays here. We'll be more than happy to have you. I'll even make my traditional sopapillas. Just like Abuelita used to make. Oh wow, Mom, that would be absolutely incredible. I can't remember the last time I had your cooking, and you know how much I love them. And of course, we will both be more than happy to help out in the kitchen while we're there. Oh, mijo, that would be so sweet of you two to help out. But are you sure you'll not be exhausted after your honeymoon? I'll just be happy to have the company here. You do not need to worry about doing any kind of work while you're here. Well, the truth is that it was Julie's idea. I think she wanted to learn a bit about cooking from you since I tuck you up so much. Oh, well, both of you are just too sweet. No, honestly, I'm just really grateful that you and Julie get along so well. It means a lot to me, you know? Oh, what do you mean? Why wouldn't we get along? She's a lovely girl. Well, it's just that... Well, you know how Abuelita can be. I think she really kind of likes tormenting Julie in the same way that she likes to try and mess with you. Miho, come on. You know that you should not be talking about your Abuelita that way. Mom, that's really nice of you to say, but we all see it happening. I know that you're just trying to keep the peace in the family, but I don't think that we should pretend like there aren't any issues. Don't you think it's possible that this is her way of showing her love for us, though? You know how much she cares about you. I'm sure she's just trying to make sure that her grandson is well taken care of at home. I really don't think she'd ever overstep her boundaries and try to do something to harm your relationship. Okay, Mom. Well, I really hope that you're right. The last thing I want is for this to turn into some kind of huge, ugly affair between all of us. Okay, then. Once I finish my work on the 24th, we'll head straight for your place. I can't wait to see you, Mom. Te quiero mucho. Si, si, mijo. I'll be waiting for you here. Take your time. Can't wait to see you. Are you there? I have some things that I need to discuss with you. 
Ah, oh, hello again, Linda. Happy New Year. I hope you had a fun time celebrating. Here we go again. You're really going to go on pretending as if you're not hiding anything from me again? I thought we would put this behind us by now. Sorry, what are you talking about? Oh, do you mean the conversation we had the other day? Is that what this is about? You are right. I really was hoping that whole thing would have been behind us by now. Actually, I think you should know that I've just arrived at your place and have let myself inside. Oh. Really? You came all the way to greet us for the holidays? If you told me that you were coming, we would have gone to pick you up. You didn't have to go through all that trouble. Yes, at first I thought about doing just that. But then I realized that I did not need to, and so I did not bother telling you. Oh. Well. Okay then. Was there something that you needed from us, or something you wanted to do? I'm just messaging to let you know that I took the plane ticket from your bag that was sitting over in the foyer. The plane ticket? I'm afraid I do not know what you mean. I know that you were about to take a little trip, weren't you? That's why I went through your bag and rummaged around in it until I found your plane ticket. Now I'm going to be taking the trip for you instead. What? You rifled through my things without asking me first? That's really not okay to do. Well, it's too late now. I'm already at the airport. Don't worry. You can always book another flight, right? That's what you get for not telling your mother-in-law about the trip. You think you can just exclude me from such an important event? Like I'm some kind of outsider? In your dreams. Wait. No. You can't use that ticket. It is no good. Don't try it. Too late. I'm already turning off my phone. Bon voyage. Niho? Are you missing your plane ticket? Have you seen it recently? Oh, hi, Mom. Actually, it's funny that you should mention that because I actually can't find my ticket. I was searching through my bag this morning just to make sure that I had everything ready for our trip and it was there. But when I got to the airport and looked in the place I had last seen it, it was gone. But... Hold on a second. How did you know that it was gone? Because the person that took your ticket out of your bag was your grandmother. What? Abuelita took my ticket? What are you talking about? Apparently, she came by this morning and you had placed both your bags there last night to get ready for your trip, didn't you? I have no idea what the crazy woman was thinking. But apparently she made it up in her head that she was going to take the trip instead of you two. So she went through your bag until she found your ticket, took it out, and left. She told me she was going to get on the plane soon and then said she was going to turn her phone off. What? Are you serious? That's insane! Why would she do something like that? But what I do not understand is that I swear the front door was locked. I think she might have found the spare key that we gave to your abuelito a while ago. But I'm sorry that I never noticed her come in. What? No, Mom, none of this is your fault. How could you even predict that she would do something like this? I mean, honestly, what could she have possibly even been thinking? It just doesn't make any sense. I really have no clue. 
I do know that this was directed at me. Not you, though. She didn't want me to take a trip for some reason. But it's not like I told her I was planning anything, or that I had any intention to go anywhere. I really have no idea what she was thinking. Wow. This is all so crazy. But you know, sometimes she just gets so wrapped up in whatever she thinks is going on, and typically her delusions involve blaming you as the bad guy. I really think that might be what happened here, don't you? But then, what should we do, Miho? Was the only thing she took your plane ticket? You're sure nothing else is missing? Yes, or at least I'm pretty sure. That is the only thing I noticed was missing. Well, if things are okay where you two are staying, then I suppose it would be possible to do the same trip by car. But given traffic and how long it would take, I really do not think I could recommend that to you in good faith. I see. Well, thank you anyways. I guess I might just give up on that then. What? You mean you aren't going to go? Well, it's like you said, if we can't really go by car, then there's not much of a choice, right? Besides, Julie gets really bad car sickness if we're on the road for too long. And even if it's a relatively drivable distance, given the traffic and all the going and stopping, it may as well be like a cross-country trip. I really don't think it would be a good idea to go by car. I mean, that is the whole reason why we're going by plane in the first place. Right. No, that makes total sense. It was not just you who didn't notice what she had done. Julie and I totally missed it as well. I guess I should just go ahead and call the hotel where we're staying to cancel our reservations. Of course, that's close to the date we were supposed to be staying there. There's going to be a hefty cancellation fee. Kind of a downer to spend a honeymoon, though. Oh, pobrecito. I'm so sorry this happened. It's okay. It can't really be helped at this stage. But I guess we'll just head back to your place if that's okay. Yes, of course it is. I'll be here when you get home. Don't worry. Katrina, I just got back from my trip. What a wonderful way to spend the holidays. It was simply amazing. Anyways, I've just landed and I'm at the airport now. So hurry up and come and pick me up. Linda, it seems that you really enjoyed your trip, didn't you? Oh, yes. I had the most wonderful time. It was so amazing. And it was all thanks to your frivolous spending that I was able to go and enjoy myself completely for free. Of course, I did not know where you were planning on staying, so I had to figure that much out myself. But of course, I had to do my duty as the matriarch of the family of punishing you for your needless waste of money. I suppose I should thank you for giving me a chance to do just that. I see. Well, I'm glad you feel so proud of yourself. Although, I should let you know that the trip you took was not something I planned for myself at all. Excuse me? I do not understand what you mean. I'm saying that even now you still do not even realize what you've done, do you? Honestly, what on earth are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Have you forgotten about your grandson and what he planned for the holidays? Stop prattling about and just get to the point. I still don't know what you're trying to say. Are you talking about Cole? What about him? Did something happen? Yes, something did happen to him, in fact. The plane ticket that you stole was meant for him and Julie. What? What do you mean? They weren't yours? They planned to use those tickets to go on their honeymoon but they couldn't go on their trip. What do you mean they were going to use it on their honeymoon? I know for a fact that this has already been explained to you multiple times now. 
But you just never listen to anything anybody says to you, do you? Hey, you can't talk to me like that. What are you going on about? Explain it to me now. They got married months ago. What honeymoon are you talking about? Are you telling me they're only going on it now? Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. They were both so busy with work that the timing for them both got to get the time off only worked around the holidays. So then, that means the other day that when I overheard you on the phone... What are you talking about? While I was at your house, I heard you talking with someone on the phone, by the front door, about the trip. Something about a holiday trip not being a bad idea, as if you were looking forward to it yourself. As you see, I knew all along that you were trying to plan this trip for yourself in secret, and yet you're still trying to hide it and put the blame on your son and his wife? Shame on you. How could you do such a thing? The person who I was talking on the phone with that day was Julie, I'll have you know. What? But kids these days don't like to talk on the phone. Why were you talking and not messaging? We had a lot to talk about, and it actually takes a long time to talk about important things over text. Just so you know. So I asked her to call me, and that is when she told me all about her and Cole's plans for the honeymoon. Then she asked what plans we had for the holidays, and I told her that we were just going to stay at home and watch the countdown but that sometimes we also like to go traveling. And that was when I said what you overheard. Well then, how about you try to explain to me why the tickets were kept so carefully hidden, huh? Excuse me? Are you telling me that Cole putting the tickets in his bag was carefully hidden? Yes. No one would normally go through someone's luggage, so it's a perfect place to hide tickets. I was only doing my duty as your mother-in-law to make sure that you weren't spending money where you shouldn't be. And then I saw the plane tickets that you bought. If that's not proof that you're lying and you were planning a trip, then I don't know what is. Are you out of your mind? Yes, no one would normally go through someone's luggage. You're not acting normally. What? And you think you can talk to me like that? Of course I do. And you know why their bags are in my place in the first place? It's because they have to share their cramped apartment with a delusional woman who will take whatever is theirs that she wants. So of course, if that person knew that such nice plane tickets were sitting there ripe for the stealing, they'd have to kiss their honeymoon goodbye. That's why they came here in the first place. But a fat lot of good it did them. That is why they were at your place? Yes, of course it is. But if you don't believe, how about you try going to Cole and Julie themselves and asking them for the truth? I am positive that they will give you the same answer that I have here. So then, you mean it's all true? By the way, Linda, I'm curious. Who are you with right now? What? What do you mean, who am I with? What kind of question is that? Well, when you texted me asking to go and pick you up from the airport, I texted your husband to confirm that you were telling the truth. You texted Robert? That's right. It appears that you were seen arm in arm with some guy looked familiar hanging around the airport lobby. Hold on just a minute. I asked you to come and pick me up at the airport. Well, but we're at my uncle's condo right now, actually. You are what? Why are you there? That's right. We're all here. The whole family minus you. And we're all having a great time. Until now. What's going on? What is the meaning of this? Well, after the married couple lost their chance to enjoy their honeymoon together, we took pity on them 
and reached out to my uncle. He said that he had a nice condo available and invited us out there to see him. It was a sudden chance that none of us were really expecting, but we packed our bags, headed out, and we are going to be here until tomorrow. No, you're kidding me. This can't be. What is the matter now, Linda? So Robert knows then? It's all over now? What am I going to do? Oh, really? Actually, I think that he knew you were cheating on him for quite some time now. He's just been collecting evidence to use against you. Wait, you mean he's known about my affair all this time? Honestly, I cannot believe you. Not only did you completely ruin your own grandson's honeymoon, but you did it all so that you could have an all-expenses-paid trip with your secret lover. How can you live with yourself? How does that make you feel? But I... I... I didn't know. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be hearing from Cole soon about paying him back for the tickets you stole. As well as the cancellation fee he had to pay for his hotel reservations. Now, they won't be able to take their honeymoon until sometime this summer. I suggest paying them what you owe before then. Wait, no! You can't be serious! I don't have that kind of money! Well then, I suppose the only other option is to get the police involved and bring this up in court. Don't you think? Anyway, I don't like getting so upset this soon after the holiday. So I'll be going now. The person who Linda was cheating with was another man who lived nearby in the same neighborhood. They were both caught by Linda's husband. The man's wife and her lawyer were also waiting. The two of them promptly served divorce papers. After Linda's own divorce, she thought that she would find some pity by coming to my house. But I quickly made her get off my property. She told us that her ex-husband had cut off communication with her, but we didn't care. Next, she tried Cole and Julie's. But when Julie saw her coming, she flew into a rage and scared Linda off. She had no other choice but to go back to her empty, lonely house and eventually reached out to her siblings. Now she lives in a cramped little corner of her brother's house while she earns a meager living as she tries to pay off the money she owes. <laughs> 